now is just kind of like whenever I play Warzone, bro, especially if I play by myself, it's just like I know my matches are just going to be fucking sweaty fucking messes, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Like barely even fun for me to play, you know? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. Truly do appreciate everybody that's checking out the video today. This is one that I've been kicking around in my head and really contemplating making for a while. And it's finally time that I really think I need to just get it out because we only have a couple months before Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 and all that stuff is going to start dropping. And I'm not going to care about this anymore, and I don't think anybody else will either. So if you guys are trying to become a Warzone content creator, these are just some of my warnings and hurdles and stuff that you're going to have to go through. And also just the rising demand of what's expected out of content creators now and it just keeps rising and getting more and more you guys are witnessing some uh this was actually a 19 kill win that i got on fortune's keep when the map dropped and the blixen was still really hot i was actually trying to get a video on the blixen and a kind of a fortune's keep video at the same time and i ended up only dropping 19 kills and i didn't i didn't want to drop the video i started getting in this kind of a bad mindset i think of if i'm not dropping over 20 kills or more then i can't even make a video and i think most average warzone players if if you are decent at the game you spend a, enough time on here and let's just say you're a casual player that every once in a while drops 20 kills you know how hard that those are to actually get right especially with the matchmaking system that warzone does have in play if you are a decent player with anything over a 1kd your lobbies are kind of miserable let's just say that because nine times out of ten everybody in the lobby is right around your same kd your average lobby kd will probably be right at a one and you might be thinking well it's kind of a good thing right because you don't just want to be stomping on everybody that's definitely not as good as you but at the same time it's kind of one of those yes and no things because as you progressively get better the game is going to get progressively harder and your matchmaking is going to get progressively worse now i think for the most of us we just kind of deal with it. you know what i mean especially for the people that don't make content for the ones that just want to come home after work or play some warzone with their friends and just have some fun they definitely don't do anything to manipulate the matchmaking because they don't care they're just jumping on to have a couple fun matches and jump off they don't even really think about it right but for the people that are really on this game a lot for the people that are actually really passionate about it maybe the content creators the streamers or even hell just the people that are at home and this maybe this is their favorite game and they want to be really really good at it the matchmaking is not going to be nice to you it's going to be frustrating and you're going to struggle which is really ultimately what brings people to manipulate the matchmaking system whether it's from boosting joining up with friends with lower kds or vpning like i hate to break it to most of you guys but like most of the people that all these people i are trying to accuse of hacking and cheating and all this stuff like 90 95 percent of these people they're not cheating they're not hacking they're just decent at the game but the one thing that i do have to say that warzone does have a huge huge problem with especially with the content creators and with the streamers everybody out here is manipulating the matchmaking in one way or another whether it's by smurf accounts or joining with friends like i said or using a vpn and no i'm not just saying this out of my ass like you can go look on cod tracker we've been when there's warzone pros out here with a way higher kd than probably you personally yourself have look at their recent lobbies and look at yours now why is it that your average kd lobbies which i'm pretty sure let's just say you have an average of a 1kd i guarantee you most of your lobbies are going to be hovering right around a 1 kd yeah you might have some that go under some that go right above but that's right about where you hover you go look at some of these quote warzone pros and streamers and all this stuff and why are they getting consistent lobbies of like 0.6 0.7 you know what i mean it just it doesn't make sense you know that they are manipulating the matchmaking system in one way or another and as a content creator that's when you have fun like you know me and my friends we've we do it on purpose all the times and the funny thing is is they know it like my friends don't want to play in my lobbies because they don't have fun and i'll join up with them because it's just like hey i get easier lobbies <laughs> and we will say it right on stream we'll be like i'm i'm just gonna join up on you because your lobbies are gonna be better you know like this is not this is not something that we hide now every once in a while i don't mind sweating and i do actually really like having some good gunfights with some really good warzone players like that stuff is it's fun it's engaging and stuff but a hundred percent all the time it starts to get old and you really just don't have fun in it so when you get tossed those bot lobbies 
somebody's every once in a while that's like a gift you know what i mean you're just like oh my god thank you and you can drop those 20 kill games and even maybe go for some pr games or whatever just don't let these quote warzone pros and content creators and streamers really make you feel like you need to be dropping these 20 and 30 kill games to feel like you're a decent warzone player just look at your teammates and everything nine times out of ten if you're dropping over 10 kills i guarantee you your teammates are not and you're probably actually in a decent lobby not a 0 0.6 0 0.7 absolute bot lobby you're probably actually doing good against decent players so this has kind of been the reason for the lack of content as of lately i think i've just been kind of burnt out on the fact that warzone as a whole the experience hasn't been very fun i'm not the biggest fan of caldera i've been playing on rebirth for two two years now uh i mean three if you really want to count blackout and everything and with the rising demand of just what's expected out of content creators for like best loadouts and stuff like that on these resurgence maps you know there was a time where it was you know when you if you were dropping 20 bombs those were excellent games people were like holy shit you dropped 20 bomb and then now it kind of got to a point where 20 bombs are expected out of content creators then it kind of got to a point now where it's like 30 bombs are expected out of content creators and i'm sorry i haven't even dropped a 30 bomb yet even in bot lobbies like i'm getting there but but that's all kind of my point in this whole video is i kind of think we shouldn't have to be in a position in our community and everything where the majority of us whether it's even just to have fun or to make content or look like you're competitive we have to manipulate the matchmaking system in one way or another just to do all of the above and i really don't think it's it's not fair to the player base at all so with warzone 2 now launching we know it's launching now on november 16th it's just around the corner we have just under three months i don't think that much is really going to change when it comes to the matchmaking and everything but i'm really hoping fingers crossed that it kind of has a clean start with warzone 2 since we're starting from scratch with everything else i'm kind of really hoping that the matchmaking starts from the bottom as well so maybe we're not you know just as screwed as a lot of us have been and maybe just loosen it up just a little bit i remember back in the day i know we've come further than this but ping was king and our lobbies were nice and mixed you know we had some sweats here and there we had some bots here and there and we had some fun now it just kind of seems like if you're in a lobby of sweats you're in a lobby of sweats and if you're in a lobby of bots then you're in a lobby of bots and i don't know man i think that comes that comes down to some problems and then eventually in the end it turns into content creators and everything manipulating the matchmaking system and you got a bunch of people out here spectating that there's hackers and cheating and all this stuff is being thrown around and also leads to videos like these anyways thank you guys so much for sticking out throughout this video with me i know it was kind of a long one there was also a lot of things that i didn't really say and i just kind of schemed over a lot of things i didn't script this out or anything i probably should have but anyways thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and being here with me throughout all the years it does mean a lot to me if you guys can do me a huge favor hit that like button subscribe if anybody is new i got a ton of call of duty content that is on the way i hope you guys have a great rest of your day take care <laughs> oh my god ggs man Dude, I think our team, yeah, our teammate got 18 as well. Ah, damn. All right there, little demon, calm down. I see you. Stole my last two kills, but that's okay. <laughs>